Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to be talk about the last way to creating an object in Java language. The last four or five videos, I did talk about a different ways to create an object in Java. We have different mechanisms like new keyword, as well as deserialization, as well as factory methods. Both comes under what user define as well as uh, predefined. And also in the last video I did talk about uh, literal with the help of the literal also we can creating an object in Java it's simply this is the concept related to auto boxing. Now in this video I am going to talk about the last way to creating an object in Java language that is clone. So clone is a method is used to creating an object in Java language. Now observe here, what is the main intention of cloning? What is the process of cloning? The process of cloning means creating a new object with the help of existing object state is called cloning. And we can say like this also, creating a duplicate object is also part of what you are cloning. And we can say one more way to define cloning definition that is providing new memory with the existing content is also called as what cloning. Let me write all these three points. Cloning means creating new object with the help of existing object state is called cloning. State nothing but we can call as what a data, data nothing but simply we can say like a variables. And one more way, one more way to define the cloning, what is that creating a duplicate objects, creating duplicate objects and one more way providing new memory and placing existed information we can call as what cloning. So, if you want to develop cloning concept in Java language we required one method that is what clone that is what clone where exactly this method is available this is one of the method of java dot lang dot object so totally we have 11 methods in object class one of the method is what clone let me show you that where exactly this clone is existed yes java p java dot lang dot object. In this class we have one method that is clone. Observe here this is our clone method. Clone method is uh, what protected developed on top of uh, C and C++ language code and uh, this method always returns Java dot lang that object uh, type information and it will throwing one checked exception that is what clone not support uh, exception. Now, up to now we learn what is cloning. Cloning means providing new memory with uh, existing information or creating new object with the help of existing state we can call as what here uh, cloning. Now, object here. In this concept, mainly I focus on three types of programs. So, before going to talk about uh, three types of programs, let me talk about types of uh, cloning. We have two types of cloning, one is shallow cloning, another one is uh, deep cloning. We have two types of clonings. So, before going to talk about uh, what is shallow cloning and what is deep cloning, let me give a small idea 
on top of the cloning with the help of a basic program. Once you understand this basic program, then you having the capability to understand shallow cloning. Once we aware about the shallow cloning, you will getting a great potentiality on top of the shallow cloning. That great potentiality is help to the learning what you are a deep cloning. Now, let me start a small program which is getting or which is providing a clear information about uh, cloning. Now, observe here for developing the program, I am taking one uh, notepad. Yes, in this notepad, I am taking some information like a uh, student or a basic program. Let me take like this A. Now, in this A, I have some information int A equal to triple 1 as well as int B equal to what uh, triple 2. So, let me take one more. Uh, one method that is public static void main string array here I am taking what my variable name is what clone. Now, observe here first let me create an object a o b j equal to new a whenever we creating an object all the non static data is going to be loading and instantiated. Now, observe here if you are printing the data like system dot out dot println obj dot a and obj dot b then we are getting the output like triple one and triple two now let me save this program on top of the desktop a dot java and save as type is all files and i am saving on the desktop now, observe here, this is my a.java file. Now, let me compile like java c a.java and java a. Now, I am getting the output like what? Triple 1 and triple 2. It is a normal Java program, there is no greatness in this program creating an object with the help of that object I, I did uh, uh, calling the non static data and just printed on the console. Now, observe here assume there is a clone, there is no clone method. How to create a duplicate object? Now, observe here a obj1 equal to obj1 here duplicate object is nothing but whatever the data which we have in the obj the data I am placed into where you are obj1. Now, observe here concentrate once you understand this concept you can easily understand the cloning. So, here this is the basic step why should we go for the cloning this is the a basic program or step to understanding the functionality of the cloning. Now, here obj1 dot a and obj1 dot b and again I am going to be executing I am going to be execute first I am compile after that I am executing. So, now I am getting the data like what triple 1 and triple 2 two times. Now, observe here whatever the data which we have in the obj the data I am placed into where obj1. Now, observe internally what happened is really obj1 getting the new memory let me check now this is obj related information this is the first object obj related information and this is the second object obj1 yes now what i am doing here is i am going to be check the memory locations of obj and obj1 system dot out dot println obj yes here i am writing obj dot hash code there is no clone method to copy the data definitely we should use a equal operator 
now same thing i'm going to be copy copy and here i'm paste it now this is what here obj1 and this is also obj1 now observe here very simple now let me compile again java c a dot java now java a now we are getting our uh, references of uh, our reference values of obj and obj1 what is the reference value of obj 20186995454 obj1 same in this program we are getting a separate references but both references are pointing to same memory both references are pointing to same memory but my requirement is for the data which we have in the obj the data i want to place into where obj1 but not in the same my obj1 is not pointing my requirement is i don't want i don't want to pointing my obj i want to get a new memory instead of pointing to obj i want to get a new memory then we should go for concept like what uh, cloning now whatever the program i highlighted that program i'm going to be show you diagrammatically now observe let me take uh, one paint s yes. here i'm taking one paint yeah this is my program so whenever we creating an object jvm blindly provides one memory assume that memory is 1010 and uh, memory identification number is 1010 first zero replace with the triple one after that b zero replace with the triple two now observe here this memory is giving by the jvm each and every memory having some identification number identification number this identification number belongs to this memory and new year providing like memory 1010 now what happen now jvm will create one reference variable like obj in that reference variable we have value like what 1010 that's why my obj is pointing to 1010 yes my obj is pointing to 1010 now guys observe here now what i did in this statement we feel like whatever the data which we have in the obj that data i placed into where obj1 but internally happen like that but what explicitly we are not directly placing the data we are placing we are placing obj identification number we are placing obj identification number into obj1 so what happen obj1 is also pointing to same memory obj1 is also pointing to same memory now both obj pointing to 1010 obj1 is also pointing to 1010 now my requirement is i want to get the existing memory or one object state within the new memory location then we should go for a concept like what here cloning let me give a quick review on top of this uh, points cloning means creating a new object with the help of uh, existing object state is called what here cloning but here what happen you know if you are placing one object or if you are placing one reference variable into the another reference variable both are pointing to existing memory but my required i required a new memory new memory with the existing object state then we should go for concept like what cloning so how to develop that one that we will see in the next video thank you i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos subscribe narasati channel Thank you.